Welcome to another episode of Poetry Unveiled. I'm your host, Lockie, and today we're about to embark on a captivating journey through the verses of a timeless poem, Beach Burial. This powerful piece penned by Kenneth Sleeser captures the essence of humanity, war, and the inerectable connection between them. As we explore the intricacies of the poem, we'll unravel its themes of symbolism and the emotions it evokes, offering a deeper understanding of the profound impact it has had on the readers for generations. So sit back, relax, and let the waves of poetry wash you wash over you as we delve into beach burial. Zane, can you give us a bit of can you give us a bit about Kenneth Slesser's life, personal context and life experiences? Kenneth Slesser, 1901 to 1971, an Australian poet, emerges as a prominent figure in moder- modernist li- literary mo- literary movement. Born in Orange, New South Wales, he began his career in journalism editing before gaining recognition for his poetry in the 1920s and 1930s. Slesser's works include collections like Five Bells, often explores themes of time, morality and urban life. Excellent. That was really interesting. What about the world of 1944? Was this time period like in which he was writing? In 1944, the world was engulfed in the rows of World War Two. The Allies were gaining ground in Europe, marked by the uh, pr- pivotal D-Day landings. You said earlier one of the poems we were looking at is Beach Burial. Where is this poem set and what is it about? Beach Burial is one of Kevin Celeste's notable poems and is set during World War Two. The poem describes the beach burial of soldiers washed ashore by the beach after a naval battle. The setting is the beach itself, a poignant and a desolate landscape marked by the aftermath of war. Can you expand on the poetic form of beach burial? What sort of poem is it and how does it challenge dominant ways of thinking at that time? Beach Burial by Kenneth Slesser is a free verse poem lacking a rigid th- a rhyme scheme on, or meter. This departure from traditional forms mirrors the chaotic and unpredictable nature of war. The emotional depth in Beach Burial is powerful. Do you find a similar emotional resonance in William Strait or does Slesser take us on a different journey as we navigate the streets of King's Cross? Kenneth Slesser's William Strait examines the living in Sydney, King's Cross. Through it does convey the intensity of the city and its liveliness. It might not have the same emotion resonance as Beach Burial compared to the deep and moving themes found in Beach Burial. The emotion resonance in William Street is more observational and distant, emphasizing the fleeting aspect of life in the city. How is King's Cross perceived by broader broader Sydney community, community during the 1930s? Were there any stereotypes or misconceptions that influenced how people viewed this neighborhood? In the 1930s, King's Cross was seen as an uh, avant-garde and bohemian neighbourhood, popular for its lively nightlife and multicultural population, but myths and prejudice about uh, her includes links to the underworld, a reputation for hedonism and associations. With unusual lifestyles, which sparked both administration and contempt for the larger Sydney community. Zane, let's delve into the analysis of William Street. Can you highlight any lines from the poem that provide insights into the emotions of atmos- atmosphere of the street? In William Street, phrases like the red glows of light and liquor green. Uh, encapsulate the energetic and colourful vibe of the street. A depth of nostalgia and complexity is added to the emotional tone by the line smells rich and rasping smoke and fat and fish and the reference ghost 
trousers in pawn shop windows. This blends a sense of transcendence with different experiences together. These lines add to the poem's atmospheric portrayal of Sydney's King's Cross. That's a vivid description of the setting. I've heard that Slusser uses repetition in William Street. Can you point out where this occurs and how it enhances the poem? One noteworthy poetic device in Ken Slusser's William Street is repetition. The line, you find ugly, I find it lovely, which comes multiple times in the poem, is one of ex example of repetition, subject of different viewpoints and subjetic assessments of urban environment is highlighted by the repetition, which also highlights the subjective nature of beauty and ugliness. Fascinating. Are there any other poetic techniques that stand out in William Street that you can share with us? Kenneth <laughs> uses symbolism such as ghost trousers to express deeper contingence in William Street, colourful images to make powerful visual impressions and enjambment to produce a fluid and contu continuous flow. These little devices enhance the poem's depth and inaccuracy. Thanks a lot for breaking down the analysis, Zane. To wrap up our exp explanation of William Street, how does this poem, in your view, offer a unique perspective and enable us to see the world differently? William Street presents an urban landscape of King's Cross through vibrant pictures and personal interperceptions, providing a distinct viewpoint. It invites readers to reevaluate the opinions on the city and recognise the complex complexity of urban life of challenging conventional ideas of beauty and ugliness. As we transition from the poetry of Slessor to the visual realm, let's delve into the vivid imagery of Starry Night. It's a shift from words on a page to, to a canvas with brush strokes, yet the essence of expression remains. Zane, could you share a bit about Vincent van Gogh's life, personal experiences, and what made him a unique artist? Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night is a masterwork that uses visual art to express deep emotion and intu intuitiveness beyond words. The 1889 picture is well known for its dynamic whirling, com composition, and brilliant use of colour. What was the world like in 1889? The time when Van Gogh painted Starry Night. How might the world have influenced this art? <laughs> the world was going through major social and cultural transformations in 1889. The significant facts of the era and their potential influences of Vincent Van Gogh's artwork are listed below. Zane, can you help us understand what Starry Night is about? What feelings or thoughts do you think Van Gogh wants to express? Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night is a sophisticated and intense picture that has sparked a lot of debate. Although the artist did not provide a clear explanation of works, meaning scholars and art historians have provided different viewpoints of emotional resonance of symbolism. Describe what you see in Starry Night. What colours, shapes or scenes stand out to you? The swirling night sky and starry night is coloured vividly azure and deep blue yellow and white pulsating stars dance across the painting. A, a quiet village is steep, stapled buildings provide warmth tones of yellow with while large, dark, lanky cypresses trees in the forefront. A captivating and moving scene is produced by the general interaction of colours, forms and dynamic patterns. When you look at Starry Night, how does it make you feel? Are there any emotions that the painting brings out in you? I am a machine learning model and I have no feelings, but Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night is renowned for stirring up a variety of feelings among spectators. When looking at the picture, many people say they have experienced amazement, wonder, and even a sense of condescendence to the greater gratitude of the universe. Zane, are there any simple words you can use to explain how Van Gogh's painting 
painted the stars, the sky, and the village in Starry Night. Um, Vincent van Gogh painted the stars and the village in Starry Night. It was very colourful and vibrant. He used used um, excellent uh, amazement and wonder, and even a sense of condescendence and gratitude. Um, the while the dark and lanky cypresses trees rise in the forefront, he uses a captivating moving scene with the quiet village and, and uh, steepled buildings providing warmth, tones, and yellows and large. How does looking at a starry night change the way you see the nice sky all the lot around you? It changes how we look as um, starry night, starry night, uh, you know, it changes the sky and how we look at <laughs> everything. You know, it changes the complexity and how we look at different paintings and how Vincent van Gogh looks at, um, you know, the, the sky. And then that's it. Thank Wait. you.